This is a mouse found in the mouse trap, and it has these larvae things coming out of its stomach. I tried to pull this one out on its side, and it went right back in his stomach. So we are going to dissect this thing and see what's going on with this mouse. Okay, so we thought the worms were on the inside of the mouse, but they are actually on the skin, in the skin. You can see where I pulled the first one out inside the skin, and there's one more left in there. And you can see that it is inside the skin. Hold on, let me get over here inside the skin where these things are living. Oh. Whatever these things are. Like I said, I took one out and cut it and I have no clue what it was. At first I thought it was baby mice. But now we're going to cut the skin and get this other one out. If we can. Oh, that sinks. Yeah, it does. We have no idea why this mouse has these worms. And does it affect other creatures that eat mice? Mm -hmm. Like our know. owls or our snakes. Whatever it may be. But we can see that it is still in there. And if you go like this, he goes back in. See that good, sis? Can you see it good? Yeah, I know I can see it. So what, why are these worms, whatever kind of worms they are, living on the outside of these mice. And here it is. They're living in the skin on the outside of the mouse. Can see it move? What on earth is that? Hold this on, one can I pause it? So this is an adult one, and I think it's getting dried out. It's not moving very fast anymore. And this is the one that we just took out of the skin of the side of the mouse. And as you can see, it's still quite alive, and it was living on the outside of the mouse. Like I said... This is where I pulled the first one out of, and it was in the trap, and one, and the other one come out on the other side. And then we just showed you how we cut the other one out of the skin. And that's not a ringworm. We have no clue what it is. But we are going to find out somehow.